Okay, who do we have here, everybody? Tom Germany. <laughs> and Apple Picker Day. Wow, this is great. Everybody is stopping out today. Uh, talk a little bit to the WIMS audience because what we're saying to the candidates is we threw it out there. Early part of the show, we said any candidate that wants to come out here equal time so far. We've had three different uh, folks Keep stop out. Ken Layton. And uh, Tom, Tom Germany. Talk a little bit about, uh, tell the audience as a mass uh, what's going on with yourself, what you're running for, and why they should vote for you. Well, I'm running for state representative and also family apple picker today <laughs> doing, my, doing my job to keep in good at, at home and picking up the cider but uh it's been a great great run as state representative and just want to thank everybody it has been an honor you know one thing i said i'd be accessible i would be available and while we went through the last two sessions i've held meetings in rolling prairie laporte winnemac madariville monterey and we decided together, this isn't about the governor or other parts of the state. This is about us deciding. And what we need to do is put politics aside and start making decisions what's best for us. And that's what I've tried to do and will continue to do so we don't end up in millions of dollars of bailouts and helping companies that are taking off on large vacations, uh, wooden arrow manufacturers. And let's get down to the basics. And, and what it's coming down to is taxes. And we need to put state spending caps like we're asking locals to do. And we need to start looking at and evaluating making tough decisions. Because right now, people need as many dollars as they can in their pockets. And so we have to provide services, but we can't. we got to get away from the bureaucracy and get rid of all that and start becoming lean for the taxpayers. So that's what, that's what we love to do. Yeah, see? You got everybody waving. Yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> we'll be dancing. And by the way, I must say, I'm still somber after the loss last night for the Slicers. But what? Yeah, why? Hey, I'm sorry to hear that. Hear that. Uh, I was very elated that the Wolves won, obviously. I know as you get older, you're supposed to not have still that rivalry in your uh, I did. Oh, I'm 37 years old and I still have it, so. Uh, <laughs> but my best friends are from Michigan City and we still go back and forth, so it's great. Well, i got to tell you, not only was the crowd huge, but you could feel the energy of the audience. You know, obviously we broadcast all those games and the way that Matt, uh, you know, Workama and Adam Parkhouse from the News Dispatch, our team, out there were describing it. It was just like awesome. That cool feeling, you know what I mean? It, it is, and, and that's what is great about LaPorte County, and that's why I love being here. Is uh, we support our athletics and the high school kids see that uh, at all the school levels. And you know, I've had a chance to go to South Central, New Prairie, Laporte, and so forth. And it's just absolutely fantastic how the community support. And that's why it's honored to serve, and that's why I'm asking for another two year opportunity because we need to make tough decisions. And you want someone down there that's not going to play politics. But try to do what's right and make sure that your voice is heard. Well, keep up the great work. We uh, we do appreciate what you bring to the table. By the way, uh, from us at WIMS, you are the e one of the easiest guys to get a hold of. When we ask for Tom Germany, we can pick up the phone. You're either on your cell, you're on the air, and you're very accessible. And that's what I like about you. No matter what my thought is on something, you'll give it to me straight, and that's what I like about you. Well, and we'll always keep that bat phone available. Yes. We'll look at that <laughs> phone. That's what I love. And the communication and discussion with people deciding on what's best for our future is the key point, and we'll continue to do it and look forward to getting on to AM 1420. You guys have done a great job of getting people to know what's going on in this community, and so thank you as well. And Absolutely. I hope to see you after November 4th. Absolutely <laughs> great. I tell you what, uh, one thing that I did see come out of downstate in Indianapolis this year that did make me happy was the signing of the Great Lakes Compact. I am um, a huge fisherman, huge hunter, you know, huge outdoorsman here in northwest Indiana. And I did not want to see our water being diverted to Arizona, California, Utah. You know, I want our water to stay here because we, we need to keep that here. Even though we use our water, it does end up back in the lake through our, you know, our treatment plants and everything. Like, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks for making sure that got done and we signed that compact. Well, and I supported that. And we need we have wonderful resources right here, and we need to protect those resources. I agree completely. You know, it's not always and can't always be about Marion and Lake County. You know, we got to do what's right for us and fight the situation that's gone on for years. And absolutely comes down to that. By the time we start doing things that bring money back to our community versus always us spending money down to them, exactly. it again. I love it. It's like we're, we're, like we're the, the mad stepchild up here or something of Indianapolis. That's what I feel like sometimes. Ring the bell because I'm ready for round two. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thanks, John. You're ready. Thanks, 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 Thanks. See you. It's always great. Uh, so if you're a candidate out there and you really want to get on, by the way, we're offering equal time to all candidates. Uh, of all backgrounds, you know, Dems, Republicans, Independents. You're listening to the talk of the South Shore. 
1420 WIMS. So I'm just going to say, audience, now I've teased you. I said we had Keith Harris. We had Ken Layton. We had Tom Dermody stop by equal time to all candidates today. If you come out here to Jarwood, and now we have, ladies and gentlemen, who do we have with us? Teresa Shooter, our county auditor. Of course we do. Uh, Teresa Shooter, good to see you. Uh, on my way up on 421, I was telling Craig I couldn't believe it. All I see up along 421, I see Ken Layton, Keith Harris, Teresa Shooter. Side. I'm like, what? what is going on here? You guys are everywhere. We've been working really hard. This, the, the Port County is in a real serious property tax crisis. And we're working hard. We're trying to get the message out that this year, more than ever, experience is absolutely essential, what we're in the middle of. Talk to me a little bit about, uh, you know, let the masses know, because there's a ton of people listening. Um, obviously, what you're running for, which you had mentioned, but again, please, and, and why people, I mean, this is a very challenging time. We hear from our listeners on all sides, no matter if they're thinking Republican, Democrat, Independent. People don't even want to vote. They're so upset. Well, and I think this year, we, we really need to put party politics aside and vote for the candidate that's the most qualified. The reason to vote for me is because I've had a working knowledge of the auditor's office. I've served for the last 16 years, the last four as county auditor, eight years prior as Ken Layton's chief deputy. I'm the only candidate that has experience and knowledge with the situation we're in the middle of. I've managed a $200 million of local and state public funds, so I'm very qualified to do the job and looking forward to the challenges and seeing the county through this mess. Well, i got to tell you, isn't it an absolutely gorgeous day out here? It's fabulous. I mean, what a crowd. I know. It's a crowd. A lot of apple pickers out today. Apple pickers. What else are we picking up? People picking up. and peppers. And They've had a crowd. The store's full, and there's people out here doing the... Not only here at the UPIC, but their store store is like yeah. wall to wall. You can't even get it. In fact, I told uh, Craig, leave your van at the other place. Jump in mine, you know, because there was, there's no, you know, at that place, there's no place parked over here. So people are filtering it now. 